Hello future lifesavers, welcome back to your channel. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of EKGs. Whether you are a nursing student or just brushing up, let's break down those squiggly lines into something fun and understandable. We are starting with normal sinus rhythm or NSR. This is what a healthy heart should look like. Here is what to know. Rate should be 60 to 100 beats per minute, rhythm should be regular, P wave, PR intervals, QRS complexes, all should be normal. It's pretty straightforward, right? This rhythm means your heart is in sync, pumping blood like a pro. Normal sinus rhythm happens when the heart's getting adequate oxygen. Think of it like your heart's happy dance, but anything that disrupts oxygen, like respiratory distress or anemia, can throw it off. Tachycardia. Tachycardia is when your heart speeds things up too much. Rate is more than 100 beats per minute. Rhythm should be regular or irregular, depend on the type of tachycardia. And everything else still looks normal. Why does it happen? It can be triggered by stress, fever, anemia, or even stimulants like caffeine, and sometimes it can also be a response to exercise or dehydration. Bradycardia Bradycardia is when your heart decides to slow things down a little too much. Rate is less than 60 beats per minute, rhythm is regular, and everything else looks normal. Why does it happen? It can be caused by hypertension medication like beta blockers or even the vagal maneuver. Yep, bearing down during constipation can also cause bradycardia. Now, VFib. Now we are going to talk about scariest rhythm. Ventricular fibrillation or VFib, it's pure chaos with electrical impulses coming from everywhere. Rate and rhythm can't even be measured. It's a mess. P wave, PR interval, QRS complexes, nada. What is the cause? Think heart attacks, electrolyte imbalances, or even untreated VTAC. This rhythm needs immediate defibrillation. And remember, time is muscle. We need to quickly respond to this rhythm. Ventricular tachycardia or VTAC is a heart racing out of control, 100 beats to 200 beats. 50 beats per minute. It's a lot. It's racing. Rhythm is regular like tombstones and also QRS are wide and even. P wave and PR interval? Nowhere to be found. What is the cause? Stimulants like caffeine or stress but also cardiac injuries are causes. Atrial fibrillation or AFib. AFib is like your heart's upper chambers having mini earthquake, fast and irregular. Rate is usually over 100 beats per minute, P wave and PR intervals none, and QRS complexes they look normal. And fun fact is often called holiday heart when caused by too much alcohol consumption. Atrial flutter, A flutter or sawtooth waves. Looks like AFib's calmer cousin, fast but regular. Rate is 75 or 150 beats per minute. Rhythm is regular. P wave and PR intervals are missing. What is the cause again? Pulmonary embolism, COPD, or heart disease can be the cause. Supraventricular tachycardia or SVT. SVT is when your heart's upper chambers go into override. The rate is 150 to 250 beats per minute. Rhythm is regular, P wave buried in T wave, and triggers can be stress, sepsis, or stimulants like caffeine. Torse de point is a fancy name, is a deadly rhythm. Torse de points literally twists your heart rhythm. The rate is 200 to 250 beats per minute. Rhythm is irregular, QRS are wide, causes are electrolyte imbalances, especially low magnesium or potassium. Asystole or flatline. Finally, the ultimate silence. Asystole or flatline means there is no electrical activity for heart. 
this is cardiac arrest territory which is caused by in, uh, also trauma or lethal arrhythmia like VFib. So now future nurses, you just survived the crash course in EKG rhythm. Which rhythm do you find the trickiest? Comment below and let's chat.